What's up everyone, Ryan here and I'm back with another EA Sports PGA Tour Career Mode Series video and today it is time for the final round of the Week 5 Tournament here in Season 2, the Genesis Invitational at Riviera Country Club. And Ryan Gamer has had a great week so far. Going into this final round of golf, we are sitting with a two-stroke advantage. We are 19 under par. Second place is Maverick McNilly, who's sitting 17 under. So we just got to go out there, play smart, get some birdies, and win this tournament. My goal is to get to six under or better. I think six under or better will be enough to win this tournament. Now, we have to point out the putter has been code over these last two rounds. These greens have been tough. That's a four under in round number three, and we left a lot out there. If we get a few more birdies, we have a much better lead going into this finale. But we're sitting in a great spot, obviously, at the top of the leaderboard. The last time we were in this position with the two-stroke advantage, Hideki Matsuyama came out in front. Uh, so we need to make sure we hold on to the lead. Let's play smart. Let's play our game. And let's win this tournament. Thank you all so much for all the continued support on this series and across all the career mode series on the channel. It's the same athlete on the channel across all the sports besides one different one, which is Ryan Gamer's brother, Rhett Gamer in College Football 25. Uh, but Ryan Gamer has been playing great basketball in the new NBA 2K25 series. Check out that new series. It has been awesome. But here we go. The final pairing today in the final round here at Riviera Country Club is Ryan Gamer with Xander Schauffele. The winds we have today are two to four miles per hour and average speeds. This is going to be so much scorable. Now, gonna have to get used to the speed difference, right? I feel like I was finally getting used to the speed and now they switch it up on us. But the good news is it's two to four miles per hour winds. So I know I said six under or better. How about let's just shoot nine under or better and crush the competition. If you get some enjoyment, be sure to drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more and check out the other career mode series on the channel. We got nine ongoing series at the same time. Check the channel page or the different links in the video description below. Let's go ahead and dive on in. EA Sports and the PGA Tour. So proud to present the season long race for the FedEx Cup. From the LA suburb of Pacific Palisades and Riviera Country Club, it's final round coverage of the Genesis Invitational. What a week and weekend this has been so far. Everything you want in a golf tournament. By nightfall, we will have our winner. As you take a look at the current leaderboard on this Sunday afternoon, we've got a tie at the top at 19 under. Included among them is our featured golfer. So we've drawn a plum assignment as we'll be following that pairing throughout. Did you all see Keegan Bradley? Eight under on the day through 10 holes. That puts him from 11 under to 19 under on the tournament. If Keegan Bradley keeps this up, we may have to shoot like 10 under today because that means the rest of the field is probably going to be playing some great golf. Hey, let's get the nervous jitters out. Put one in the fairway to start the day. Struggled on this hole in the last round. We got a par in round three. Not today. Come on. That's a good start. Ryan just got back from the ATP finals in Topspin 2K25 to yesterday. Had an in incredible finale. I don't want to give away what happened in that series. All I can say, trust me, watch the finale of the ATP Finals. Ryan Gamer versus the number one player in the world, Carlos Alcarez. It was incredible. What a season Xander Schauffele had in real life. And we'll have to see going forward how often he leaves the driver in the bag. But a good shot here on the first hole with that three-wood. Like Xander just played incredible. And what about Scotty Scheffler? Hey, congrats to Scotty Scheffler winning... The tour championship. Scotty is just on another level. On another level. Okay. This is a mean pin. This pin is the front right. Look at this. Oh my. Okay. So what do you even do here? Probably an approach shot. And we have almost no win. We don't have to worry about that. I'm just going to try to land this. 199 around the problem with this approach shot the shot dispersion is much wider so this shot could go anywhere mm. 
199. I mean, that we hit that on the number. 196, that technically, so but well what? Done on in two on this opening hole. Trying to get a good chance here for, at a minimum, a birdie to start. That is the one of the best not shots I've hit. On a par five, and not often you reach the green in two or have an eagle putt. I mean, we just made that pin location look easy, both players. That one had to feel good. Yeah, it struck it so well. You could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Xander's been watching Keegan Bradley to get ready for the round, so Xander might be going for that 8-under through 10. Oh, yeah. That's how you take advantage of a par 5. It's in for an eagle 3. Superb. Okay, now. Xander's starting with an eagle on the day here. Ball sitting above the feet. It's going to be tough to see this in the shadows here. Always struggle with the shadows. Let's see if Jerry provided the caddy book today. So I will say, Jerry's strategy today was just told Ryan, play your game. And he also actually told Ryan to just make more putts, you know? <laughs> he gave Ryan like a hundred, a hundred caddy books last night of all of the green history of Riviera Country Club. I don't know why Ryan needs to study the history on this course, but clearly... Jerry thought it was important, so I'm not sure if Ryan read that last night, but it was provided. Gotta make this. I don't think it's breaking very much at all. Mm. Boy, you don't get eagle putts from I thought it was breaking that more than that. Every day, but that one never got online. That's one where well, the caddy book kind of threw me off a bit, because it was looked like it was breaking more than it actually was and i corrected but not enough yeah that's a good putt it's a birdie here at one and he gets it to 20 under par mcgreevy in second place i think i think mcgreevy was tied for 17 under with maverick i think i could be wrong get your coffee whatever you're drinking cheers everybody <laughs> this is piping hot filled to the brim cup of coffee yeah, all about hitting the Can't drink it too fast. Here, and that is right where you want to be. Good drive from Xander. Starting out with an eagle on the round. You hit fairways on this course, you're going to score. What about Ryan Gamer, the new starting point guard for the Miami Heat and NBA 2K25? He's been playing exceptional basketball. Three-point shooter, but also a really good passer. Believe it or not, Ryan Gamer actually goes for assist in uh, NBA. Did not happen in NBA 2K23 on the channel. Ryan wasn't much into getting assist, but wow, he almost broke the Miami Heat single-game assist record. Good shot from Xander. He's on fire. Set up in the fairway, 200 yards from here. I, I don't know if the finesse shot is going to grab enough. I think we got to go approach to get more spin, hitting into an upslope into a slight headwind. I'm going to go to a six iron. A six iron with full loft and go right for it. Now, I don't know if Xander played that safe to the right or if the wind just affected his ball more. It could be that the wind is gusting, but I'm going to play it like I normally would based on how it was the last hole. Yeah, the wind is gusting. Okay. Now we know. Yeah. Wow, that wind just took that. That was a crossed headwind, and it played like seven miles green, an hour. And with that, we welcome four-time winner on the PGA Tour, Noda Begay. What do we got, Noda? And a glassy look to this putt as it works downhill with right to left in it. Vander's mm, on. Boy, that's a good stroke. Just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. So it is moving down the hill. Ball is above the feet. Oh, wow, this is tricky, right? Because it looks right to left at the very beginning, and then it kind of looks like it slows down and then moves the opposite way. When I say slows down, the brake slows down. Ah, uh, no, I think it's right to left the entire way. The tough part is the speed here. I'm going to play it about a foot outside to the right. Yeah! 
Yes! What a read! Perfect there from off the green. The line was perfect too, and as a result, it's in for birdie. Okay, now, uh, we're golfing. Two birdies. That finished off for par. You were the second. And that cushion's gonna remain two shots. You know, I love playing this game in without the grids turned on. You know, for that challenge of reading the grids. And you can, with the way the lighting is in this game, like you can really, or at least I can anyways, now that I've played Trusum so much, I can really start to see those subtle slopes in the green uh, like I can in real life. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to make every putt, right? You can't. It's it's impossible. But I love that challenge. You know, you get an eye for it the more you play True Sim. You know, when you first start playing without the grids, it's like, no, it's impossible to read. Nobody can see these slopes, right? N nobody. He's just guessing. I, I get a lot. I still get a lot of comments on this series, like past episodes, saying he's just guessing. No way he can actually read those greens. Well, I can tell you I'm not making it up. Like... <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes you make up break, right? It's like, I think this is moving this way, but... Driving's been sensational all week, and here's another one that's going to set up nicely in the fairway. The lighting and graphics are really good on the green to where you can, you, at least I can pick up on those, on those slopes. Now, the problem is when shadows come into play, I can't see a thing. That's when I pull out the caddy book. Caddy books are used for pars for oh, me, and... Oh, fairway here at three, but um, a great spot. Shadows. Pretty good angle here, getting set for his second shot just on the right side of that fairway. You know what would be really cool, though? Imagine if they gave you the actual caddy book from the course that they give the pros. You know what I'm talking about? How cool would that be? Ah, good shot again there. Well thought out. Landing the ball short, letting the ball run onto the green. And inside, oh, I'd call that a birdie putt. You all know what I'm talking runs. about? Have you seen the actual caddy books the pros have, like with the greens? If they ha imagine you hit a button in this game and instead of popping up this you could turn on like the the true pro mode and it would show the actual caddy book like maybe your player like holds it up in his hand and you get like that animation and then you see it and it's actually the same caddy book from the course in real life could you imagine how cool that would be like the actual green diagram that would be fantastic If we can send this in. I might be the only one to use it, but <laughs> I mean, to, if we're being honest, that's one of those features that very few people would use. I would be one of the few. The less than 1% of people who would use it. I'd be the first one. And probably the only one fired up about it. What a shot. Underswung, unfortunately, but and good swing. That gonna wind up safely on the putting surface. Look here at birdie. Okay, and so got this ball on the flat part of the green, and this is about as straightforward as yeah, it's come. not breaking much at all. Get it there. It's it's a little bit to me. Looks like a double breaker actually. It's very tricky because it does look right to left at the very end, but then it's left to right before then. So my instincts would tell me that this thing is straight in. But my instincts are wrong a lot of the times. It could also be left to right the entire way. I'm going to go more left to right. It's slight down the hill. Going to hit it pretty quick. This is one of those subtle breaks that are really tough. This course has a lot of subtle breaks that are really tough to pick up on. Double breaker. Yes, we got right. it. Well judged straight into the cup. It's a birdie here at number three. And that means they'll get it to 22 under par. Everybody remain calm. Act like we've been there before. Three birdies. Cheers. Oh, the pace perfect on that one. It's in for birdie. And he will definitely not say no. Hey, Xander's playing good golf. But Ryan, Lee, the legend, MP, Gamer, the Punisher. I, I put Gamer first. The longest name in sports. Didn't even get the full name right. You know Ryan has too many nicknames when I miss his name, right? <laughs> we'll try it again at the next tee, but that is three birdies in a row. Whoever called in the birdie train, I know Bob out there calls in a lot of birdie trains, touchdown trains for the for the football episodes on the channel. We need uh, three-point trains as well out there. Somebody wants to start calling three-point trains for NBA. But Bob, thank you for that birdie train. Are you kidding me? <laughs> 
Wow. Must be a new uh, train company today. I'm going to do a full loft here. Hybrid. Land it short. I don't think you can stop this ball. I really don't. Just don't know what to hit on this golf hole. I'm trying to land it short. Bounce it left. Actually, I think we just figured out what to hit. But you can do that on average firmness. But when it was firm and fast in rounds two and three, you can't stop there, it. Right in the middle of the green. Not even with the drive shot of any sort. Maybe a four iron. Maybe three iron. Xander's going for a draw. Off that side slope. That's gone. Yep. That's gone. Honestly, that's where we hit and it both both times. So green, three times. Not a terrible spot either. Starting up in the short grass. It's our first time finding the green. Xander, what was that? Uh, speaking of Scotty Scheffler, it now was this, so funny. Did you all watch? Oh, wait. Here. Very little break. Just has to get it online. Well, Noter, don't give us too much information. But yeah, it looks a little bit left to right. Uh, but did you all see Scotty Scheffler after he won the tour championship? You know, they were at in the post-conference interview. In the post-round post post-interview? What did I just call it? Post-conference interview? That's the same thing. Uh, but... Uh, one of the one of the media journalists asked Scotty why he shanked it in the bunker. Do you remember that bunker shot he hit and he shanked it and he bounced back with three birdies? And Scotty <laughs> Scotty like gives him the most like like actually explains why he shanked it. Well, you know, you, you see you know how the club has I, I can't describe it as well as Shotty did. I mean as Scotty did. It was hilarious. He, and he said, you know, I, I just hit it on this part of the club instead of this part. <laughs> he gave me like, but what kind of question is that? Why why, and how did you shake it? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It's East Lake, right? Oh, my. I, Scotty's response to that was golden. Like, it was so good. It was one of the best responses to a media I've heard. To like, just in such a bizarre question, right? <laughs> Oh my. Uh, really, I thought was a silly question, but like, it was Scotty's answer was goaded. Let's send this into the hole. A little bit left to right, not much. Yeah, but if you all didn't see that, I recommend watching that. It was pretty funny. I love Scotty Scheffler. That's the cruelest thing about this game, Rich. I mean, it's just now it's another shot. We left it short. You underswing, you're going to send it short, and Xander drills the par. No way Good par. Necessary. This is the putter from off the green. Nothing to it. It's in the safe par. It, it was, yeah, but that that post -con, that that question, the way Scotty answered it, was just so good. And it was funny. The, the, the media person was like, yeah, I know that. <laughs> I'm sure Scotty was like, well, why did you ask the question? Okay, then? that one finished off. It's a par here at four. And this will remain a three-shot lead. I think Scotty hit him with. Uh, I think. I think the. I think the question was like, "What happened in the sand there?" And then Scotty's like, "I shanked it." And then he started to describing what a shank was. <laughs> oh, I love Scotty. It's so good. But yeah, congrats to Scotty. What a season. An unreal season. Sander Shoffle getting two major championships in a single season. It's going to set up nicely in the fairway. Kind of insane. I know Xander fell short at East Lake, but East Lake is East Lake, right? I mean, yeah, Xander just swing. sent that. And a good result. As that is safely into the fairway. That's a beautiful shot. From the fairway, Noda, this is second. Looking at 143 yards to the front, 160 to the hole, pin sitting on the left half of the green. I'm going to do no loft, maybe a slight loft here. 
into the wind. It is downhill. The wind's going to affect it quite a bit. Get up, get up. That is gorgeous. Well, I'm not wow. surprised. We've already seen some great iron shots this week, but that is another one. Frank, downhill shot here. Will he have to take it just a little bit easier? Yeah, be careful with the ball position as well. If you play the ball too far forward and try and scoop it, it's not going to work. Xander's playing some great golf. I looked inside that 15 feet circle. Anything inside that was going to be a good shot. So in my book, that's a good shot. Good putt. Yes, a good read. It's a birdie here at five. Will certainly help the cause. Ball is above the feet. A little bit right to left. Not a whole lot of movement here. Yes, a good roll there. That's everybody for remain birdie. calm. And Act like you've been there before. To 23 under par. Right, let's just keep playing golf. Right? No more. I, I need to stay focused. No life stories. I got sidetracked talking about in real life golf there, Scotty Scheffler. But I, I love watching Scotty Scheffler's post -conf like post conferences. Press conferences. That's what they're called. Post. I kept calling it post conferences. Post round press conferences is what it is. I, I love his answers that he gives sometimes. And. Scotty's just awesome. I'm going to do a five iron, full loft. I'm going to do six iron, actually. Six iron, full loft. I don't think we're going to hit that tree. Now, wind does seem to be gusting. It should still get up. Come on, ball. Without the underswing, okay, that that's might on be to in. This six screen, not particularly close, but it does appear that there is at least a straight line to the hole. Need some water. L water break, everybody. Get your water. Oh, that was lovely. Wow. Ah, uh, that's a nice job to carry it over that bunker onto the green, and this ball makes it up to the proper level. See, I, I try to drink some water in my videos too. I know it seems like I only drink coffee, but I drink some water just so the next time I go to the I go to my doctor, I can be like, I can be like, well, Ryan, have you have you cut down on coffee? Like I said the last ten times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I drink I drink a lot of water. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Ball is above the feet. Steady up the slope. I just love coffee. You know, I do. I drink I drink water. Don't you all worry. I work out and drink water. So I, I take care of myself too, but I do drink a lot of coffee, you know? I don't put sugar or cream in it. You know, it's fine. Coffee's good for you. Basically water. I'm going a little bit outside to the right. Double breaker, double breaker, move! Xander standing over this for birdie. Good try. Good putt. Oh yeah, that one online all the way. It's in for a birdie. And you know, definitely not say no. We have to, to say that. whatever books that Jerry gave Ryan last night, they really helped. You know, reading the history of Riviera Golf Club and the change in greens really helped Ryan relax. Safely in for par here at the sixth. And this is going to stay a two shot lead. <laughs> it's it's an interesting strategy from Jerry, right? Jerry didn't give him the modern day green diagrams. He gave him the full history lesson on Riviera Golf Club to study like how they changed the greens. I don't. You know, Jerry's unorthodox sometimes. You just never know what he's going to give Ryan before the final round. And we can't deny the results. I mean, our green reading is spot on. Now just hybrid. Nothing fancy. 
I don't think you need to get fancy here. It's just a short golf hole. Do you want to win or do you want to lose, YouTube? Now, Noda, his second from the fairway. 146 yards left to the hole. Pin is very accessible here, right in the center of the green. Okay, wind has been gusting, but I don't think... I'm going to go 9-iron, full loft, aim for about 140, 141 probably. Should bounce down that slope. Needed a bit more uh, underswung, but on the green good shot. Chops. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. Xander's attacking it off that slope. It went right. That's not good. Ooh, that's going to be a tough chip. And that ball going to settle on the fringe. He should putt it, though. Distance See, from the hole. This, this is one of those things that when when the AI is on the fair, they'll putt from the fringe, but when they're in the in the fairway, like just a little bit off, they'll oh, that's chip a lot. Right what a putt. There. The approach misses the target, but the putter coming through from off the green, and that is a bit of a surprise birdie. I think the AI need to utilize the Texas wedge more from the fairway in this game because if you all notice, I don't know if we've seen an AI putt from the fairway even with they're just barely off the fringe. They'll putt from the fringe like that, right? But I'm talking about when they're actually on the fairway. A lot of times they won't putt that. But what a putt from Xander. Look at the movement here. This thing is sloped big time. On these, I just try to visualize the ball rolling at the beginning. Try to pick out the line. And then send it. You got to hit this pretty confident. Now, missed it left. Mm, that's a letdown. You know, golf is a painful sport, everybody. Like, sometimes it just doesn't drop. That was a good read. Just needed just a bit more on it. A bit more break to the right. I mean, it broke a bit more to that the left. Finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. Up and by two. Stay. Look Shoot at Keegan. I mean, <laughs> Keegan dominated. I mean, Keegan is insane. What about Keegan in the FedEx Cup playoffs this year? It was yeah, awesome to see so Keegan when you're going good, doesn't play it? really well. And that is yet another solid drive. Won the BMW yeah, Championship. Decided to go for the right side fairway, and that's in good shape. Won the BMW Championship to get in at East Lake. That was awesome. Well, that's a golf shot right there. Look at well, this. You can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Frank, on an uphill shot like this one, did you do anything differently in terms of your setup over the ball? Yeah, I made sure the ball wasn't too far forward because on an uphill shot, there's always a struggle to get all your weight going forward. Uh, that's not too bad. Good shot. Uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really outside chance for Betty. You know, uh, it's been so long since I've hit like my first downhill shot in golf. You know, I was a kid, but what would be very entertaining? And I don't think I've ever played golf with somebody for the first time, right? But seeing somebody hit a downhill shot versus an uphill shot for the first time has to be really entertaining, right? Because wow it changes everything and you don't like at from an outside perspective if you're playing golf like you're just starting to play the game it just you know you just don't even think about it right here we go golf is so tough like you know you see what those pros do and if you play golf you know just how hard it is but it, it is insane nice what they do and, and like, good thing about that lift it below the hole Look here at Birdie. And he's got to be happy with this ball wind up. Just slightly uphill, looks almost dead straight. Like, golf is the hardest sport out there. Golf and baseball. You know, like, it, it's, it's insane what they do. It's hard enough in a video game. Up the hill, ball is, to me, it looks like a little bit right to left. It doesn't look like it's breaking much. 
Yeah, just a little bit right to left. Looks like it is more a little bit more break towards the end. Gonna hit this firm. We're putting good, so let's just trust the line. Trust the line. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And that's going to move him to 24 under par. Wow, I love golf. And Xander. You betcha. What a roll there. That is in for a birdie. Will certainly help the cause. What a busy day it is for Ryan. A busy last few days. Ryan has a has a very important game today. Later in the day. Or tomorrow. You know, I tried not to give too much away. Because I know a lot of people like watch binge watch series like later on. So I I find myself giving away too much spoilers. And I try not to. I really try not to give away too much spoilers. So I, I'm gonna stop talking right now. <laughs> you know, I like to talk about like what's going on in the Ryan Gamer the universe right on the channel. You know, we got nine different series right now, but I, I also realize not everybody watches the series uh, right on the day they go live, and sometimes right? I give away too much. And into the rock. I like to give they little hints that. though. Little hints on what's going on in the Ryan Gamer universe, but we have a lot of fun here. That's for, that's that's for sure. That's a great shot. Is this going to roll down? Keep going. Of course it stops. Good shot. So from the rough, his second at nine. This is going to be very scorable. I mean, when I say scorable, for birdie. But we have a great lie. As long as we don't get a flyer's lie, we're going to be in great shape. So I'm going to go finesse shot. And this 90 to 95 percent and i'm gonna go to the yeah i'm going with the 50 degree wedge hoping we get the 100 percent even a flyer's lie would not be bad that's really well done i'm not quite sure that strike whether they got it all but false just come up a little shy outside chance for a birdie now xander this for birdie Remember, we're on our road to the Masters right now, but that's what we want this season. Everything is getting ready nope. for the Masters. Yeah, that was maybe a little overcautious. I bet he'd like that one again. Now this for another birdie. Xander just barely missed that. It was a good putt. Now we're sitting with the ball below the feet. Just, actually, just a little bit. A lot. This looks like it's breaking a couple feet or a foot and a half. A little bit more than that. Got to hit this confident. Drop your one times, everybody. One time right here. One time. Oh, never in doubt. What a great putt that is. It's a birdie here at the ninth. And that is going to mean this was a 28 on the front side. Seven under par. That's insane. Just a tap in there for par at the ninth. And that is going to mean this was a 28 on the front side. Seven under par. If you all want to have some good laughs, you know, I talk about Jerry being a little unorthodox in his training methods, but whatever he did last night was great. Uh, I, you know, having Ryan studying the history here at Riviera, that is a six under on the front, right? Or seven. The announcer said seven under, but I think it was six. I could be wrong. I thought it just said six there on that on the leaderboard. But if you missed the NBA episode yesterday, I have to say this. So NBA, that would be NBA part four, NBA 2K25. The end of that video after the game was hilarious. So it was a workout with Ryan Gamer. Of course, his personal trainer is Jerry. But the workout is just hilarious. Wow, it is entertaining. Honestly, it might be one of the best segments in the career mode series on in all the career mode series on the channel besides WWE. The entire WWE series in 2K24 is fantastic, but like <laughs> it's golden. I'm telling you all, it it is so funny. But here we go. And it's a lot more funny because Ryan Gamer is tiny in NBA 2K25.
But that's one thing that's cool about NBA. As you work out, you can actually improve your like Man, your player can get bigger. No they start out small while, and they actually get bigger as they work out. Pretty cool. Uh, but that bunker shot, listen, I know it seems like a bad shot, but it's actually a lucky shot dispersion. That bunker is not bad to play from. Xander's going for the same shot. It's a simple splash. Not tough. Not the best of three woods there off the tee, and this one's going to wind up in the bunker. Like, gotta be careful of this ball checking up. This is the spot I aim for. Get this just right. In this game, you know, in PGA 2K, you can do full loft and backspin, and you can actually get that ball to stop on the green uh, with shot shaping. You have to strike it to perfection. So in, in PGA 2K, you can land it kind of in that left area with full shot shaping with the driver. So the full loft and backspin, and you can actually get that ball to stay on the green. In this game, there is no shot you get it to stop on the green. So I usually go for it in PGA 2K. In this game, I go for the bunker. And if we hit it, we hit it. But you're never going to stop it on the green. I I underswung by a long shot. All right, not exactly what you're hoping for, but safely on the putting surface. That's the danger with the pick play. shot. The only danger with the pick shot is that right there. And that ball kind of got away a bit coming out of the bunker, and it is going to roll off onto the fringe. Chance now for another birdie. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very this makeable thing is, opportunities. I don't know if I'd call this very makeable, but thank you, Noda. I mean, it's breaking a whole bunch. Ooh, good speed there. That'll lead just a couple of feet. Hey, we're on. I mean, our, our green reading has been exceptional today. Just a little bit off on that one, but good putt nonetheless. I thought I thought Xander was about to chip that. No way. Yeah, he's definitely putting this. But he's in the fairway. He probably would chip it. That one just going to sneak on by. Good effort. Xander's had a great round. So that's in four parts. That's a painful part. And this will stay a four-shot advantage with time run out for the rest of the field. Xander? He'll finish that one off with no problem. It's in for par. We have and a four-stroke lead. Four-shot lead. Where is Maverick? I don't see Maverick up there, but Keegan dominated. But the AI's green rating is hilarious sometimes for those short putts. Xander played that as about a half a cup outside for that little putt. That's too funny. So this one, it's tough when the shot dispersion goes to the right here. Okay, we need to get lucky. Just fine, short of the road. Good tee shot here. We at should be able to fly it underneath that tree. That's what I mean by lucky. If you're to the right there, it's a much harder shot to the green. If you're to the left, you can attack. I think we will still be able to attack where we are. I think is the key word there. That's a good shot. Still well over 300 yards to the flag. So getting this to a good number. The key here for his second. Is Xander going to go for this driver off the deck? Right down the middle. So he wasn't going for it. It's interesting why he pulled out the driver. Good shot, though. It worked. Now, we I don't think we hit the tree. Plenty of green to work with. We have to do a normal approach. A power approach is never going to stick. I mean, even this is probably not going to stick. But what I'm going to do is an overpower lofted six hybrid. And go right for it. Want this to land on that slope right there. Yep. And then kick right. Oh, needed to land it a bit shorter. Not bad. This is going to be a painful shot. Third shot. Looking for a good one. Nothing that a flop can't do, though, right? We can flop it close.
That's a good shot. Okay, a little left to do, but safely on the green. I don't think we pitch this. Actually, I think we chip this. I really do. Am I crazy? Yes, I'm. No, there's no way we chip this. Beautiful. Here's Xander. Birdie. There was a time last season, do you all remember, when I just missed every single flop and pick shot, so I just stopped hitting them? I would under hit it a thousand times. Oh, wow, he played no, that well outside. about ready to walk that in. That looked on target the whole way. You Another one. A birdie here at the 11th. And stop the presses if you've heard this before. He's well on his way to yet another victory on the year. Beautiful. Brushed in for par here at 11. And this one. Five strokes. Close to being over as it'll remain a five shot cushion. You know, I love all the career modes here on the channel. The reason I love the variety as well is I don't get burned out. You know, every time I load in to this, whether it's this game, uh, you know, to top spin, whatever the game, like it's just, I just love it, right? Now, if, if I just play the same game, I get bored. But if I'm doing different series, which is why I always have done different series, I don't get bored and I enjoy each one. Like when I load in for EA PGA Tour for the week, I like I'm like, oh yes, let's play some golf. PGA 2K, let's let's play some golf, right? I love love all the career modes here on the channel. Still, I think my favorite ongoing one right now is is college football, Dynasty, Kentucky, Kentucky Wildcats. It's definitely the most stressful though by far. I think NBA might end up being one of my favorites because being on the Miami Heat with two other Kentucky players is going to be amazing. Three-player Kentucky lineup for the Heat right now with Ryan Gamer, Belm Abadayo, and Tyler Hero, right? It's like a dream really for Ryan Gamer. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. That's a, that's a beautiful drive. I wasn't trying to crush it. I just wanted to hit the fairway. We missed to the left trying to fade it in the last round, and I just didn't want to do that again. But the wind kind of forced us to last round. Another wonderful tee shot. Let's go finesse. Ah, six iron is not the way. It is downhill, though. Ooh, 192 to the front. I like it. The wind is not blowing very much. I think we go for this on a, on the down slope. Question is, is it enough wind and enough loft to get it to stop? I, I don't know. We're about to find out one time. That's a great swing. That's a great swing. Yeah, that'll do. Mm, it's an excellent iron play there. Takes oh, I love golf. Lie and just knocks it stiff. In the PGA 2K series on the channel, we are in the FedEx Cup playoffs, everybody. Had our season finale at Payne's Valley a week ago. And what a it's tournament a that was. And the green in regulation, but a little away from the band. Shoffley now for birdie. I tell you, I, I, I still love that series. The PGA 2K career mode, I absolutely love it. Like, it is so much fun. Like, the battles we've been having in that have been fantastic. Mm, good job to deaden it right by the hole, but he could not get it to go in. I just love having this, two different golf games birdie. that I just really enjoy playing. Shadow makes this tough. Beautiful. Okay, that'll help the cause. It's a birdie here at number 12. And the lead is up to a full six shots on the rest of the field. That one safely in. It's a par here at 12. And the lead will remain I mean, six here in the late going. Do you want to win or do you want to lose? 
You want to win or do you want to lose? Oh my. Let's send this. Beautiful. Do what Xander can do. We got six holes left, a six stroke advantage. I mean, I know we've fallen apart a couple times, but I don't think we can throw this one away. There's no way. There's just, I don't see a hole that is going to mess us up that many strokes. And if it does, Careful Ryan may have to retire. He's got to time it good because your weight's a little bit more on your front foot. That's a great shot. Well, not super from there. close, but uh, safely Is on he, the He had to worry about the trees a little bit. Set up for his second shot here. I'm not sure I would have hit that much closer. Green. I mean, we can put this right next to the hole. It's a relatively flat green. Gonna go finesse shot, slight D loft. I do not want this to spin very much. I want to kind of hit it up there in the wind. And then go right for it. That's beautiful. Oh, nothing wrong with that iron shot. It's a good one. Just a little short, little right, but still a very good place to putt from. Yep, not bad. Hey, he's That's been on, though. A little extra into that one, but got it there. That's a pretty good effort. You can't make them all, right? Here we right? go. Seven footer for birdie. Ball is above the feet. Just a little bit right to left. Yes. Mm, confidently done there. That's we got a little lucky. I mean, he moves to 28 under par. That was hit a bit firm, and I think Jerry put a magnet in the cup on that one. Thank you, Jerry. Okay, safely in for par here at 13, and he's going to maintain that substantial lead. I mean, players lead. were playing today, right? If Keegan Bradley would have been closer, he would have beat us today, or it would have been a shootout, right? But. It's just, we just have dominated so much. that Maverick McNilly, the player who needed to do what Keegan Bradley did today, did, was not able to get the job done. And wow, did he need to. I think 191 down, downhill. Wind has picked up a bit, but not very much. I think we just attacked this. Beautiful. Okay, that one's dancing. It's dancing, all right. Xander was was afraid of the bunker a little bit. I think he should have attacked and it. I mean, you got to think. Gonna end he needs to birdie out on the putting surface to get into the top Chance five. Now for another birdie. Because he's in eighth place. Well, he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Mm, boy, that's a good try. Stroke. Just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. Xander is on. So here we're sitting ball below the feet. To me, it looks like just a smooth left to right, about one foot, maybe a bit more. It's not going to be very fast. I'm going to go a little outside of foot. It needs to slow a bit. Okay, that, that's still going to be a good four feet, though, coming back. Wow. Just wow. Good putt, but... Golf's painful sometimes, right? Okay, good putt. 
and a par here at 14. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. Can't complain. We're playing some amazing golf, so we just got to finish. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And he'll remain well in control of this tournament. Ryan is playing with the sprained ankle right now and tennis elbow that he got from the ATP Finals in Topspin 2K25. So yeah, he's playing through injuries today. He's gonna take the he's gonna take the week off, but you know he can't he can't do it. He loves to win too much. Did we hit the tree? You're kidding me. There's no shot. That's going to be a uh, tough that's shot. That's be into the right bunker at the elbow of this 15th fairway. Did we really hit that tree? I didn't even think the tree was in play. You, you always can tell with the fans when they make that sound, right? The hitboxes of these trees in this game just makes no sense, you know? Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. Do you all think we'll get another EA golf game? You know, keep in mind, there's been no information given close. on the cells of this game. Oh my Xander. That's usually never uh, a good sign. Just done with a little bit more so just a little short. What I mean by that. It's a good shot. So I, I listened to most of the EA and 2K earnings calls, right? the shareholder meetings and such. Uh, so in those meetings, there has been no mention of EA PGA Tour sales, right? And that's usually not a good sign if they don't mention it. And now they also, but on the other side of that, PGA, 2, PGA 2K is never mentioned in the 2K earnings calls, right? Um, so it's, it's, it's interesting and it brings up the question, will there be another EA golf game? Because keep in mind, after Roy McIlroy, that was 20, when did that game come out? 2014 maybe 2015 I think 2014 2015 right might have been 2015 but there wasn't a game until this one so are they gonna stay in golf or do you think they're not a lot of speculation and they're you know they released the last update for this game a, a long time ago and there's been no other updates or anything so are they making another game send it they might not they might not that's beautiful not the best shot we've seen today but when you consider that was set out of the fairway bunker it certainly gets a pass grade okay uphill putt ball sitting below the feet I, this is tricky because my initial read says left to right, right? And it is, but I don't think it's breaking very much. This is a very, very tricky read. You got to hit it. That's the line. Now this for another birdie. I was really hoping for the next PGA 2K game to release in October. But since it wasn't announced in August, we know it's not coming in, in, in October. Oh, yes. Never in doubt. It's I want that game so bad. I think we all do, right? And he will definitely not say oh, no I want the PGA 2K that. 25 so bad. I am so ready for it. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And he's going to stay 28 under par. I mean, we're dominating. Just playing exceptional golf right now. That's right at it. He's going for the a high draw, it looked like. 
And he got it. That is a beautiful shot. Okay, not taking any chances there. A good, safe play in the middle portion of the green. Okay, 155, right at the front of the green. Only a couple yards to work with here. I'm going to go a normal finesse loft, 8 iron, into the wind. Aim at about 152. Can't hit it much better than that. It's got to go. It's got to hit the front. And it hit the front. No, it never mind. It hit the rough. Solid he did it to hit the fringe. Sometimes solid throughout the round will win the day. Still a good shot. So we're going to be looking at an uphill putt, I believe. Xander should have a downhill. Unless I saw it wrong. That is so painful when you come up that short. You Why know. is it that putts online? Xander has had short. one of those rounds like we've had. This week, last round and the round before, where we are right on with the putter, they just won't drop. It was like that in PGA 2K23 in the career mode a couple weeks ago in the tournament before the not championship, right? That was the, uh, oh, what tournament was that? The Rocket Mortgage Classic, right? And in that, in that round, every single putt that I missed was just barely missed. And that's what has happened to Xander today. It's so frustrating in golf when that happens, but it happens to every golfer. Well, I guess every good golfer, right? <laughs> if you're not good enough to get the putts close, then, you know, that's not going to happen to everybody. Perfect double oh, breaker. Read it to perfection. Well done. That's a birdie here at 16. Some of the best green rating now, I've ever done. You can believe it. A seven-shot cushion. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And this lead, look at oh, so comfortable at this point. It remains yeah, we're at just, seven. Listen, when you bring it round one, set ourselves up in great position. Putter was coded rounds two and three, but we set ourselves up in great position to win the tournament. You, you just can kind of coast, you know, like, we, we are playing exceptional golf recently, and you love to see it. You know, it's it's just, it, when you're on, when you get hot with the putter, and you're starting to read greens, you're, you're going to dominate. Which is what's happening to us right now. Like, I, I don't think we missed a read this entire round. Like, yeah, we've mishit it. But I'm talking about, like, a misread. Showing no I don't think we've had one here. This tournament seemingly it's been a few, control, but as that's in the fairway, here not like huge misreads, though. Come on, Shoffley, show us what you got. That's pretty good. Now a second from well over I mean, 300 yeah, he yards. He laid this up. So be about positioning. He's gonna have to lay up again. You know, I like the full send it strategy on these par fives. I don't know why the AI chooses to lay up so much. Like Xander in real life, there would be pulling out the driver and sending it, sitting where he is on the leaderboard. go full lofted six hybrid and overpower this a bit uh what did i forget to compensate for everybody lie angle oh and that distance is control is great bunker, i just did not green. pay attention to the lie angle Ready it was gonna push shot. to the right off that side hill close. lie that's a huge mistake but it happens i mean we're, we have a huge huge lead Hate to make that mistake though in a perfect round. Yeah, that just flew past the flag, but still an outside chance for a birdie. So he'll dig I'm in. I'm not going to do any shot third. shaping here. This par five. We're just going to send this. I don't want to land it short. Perfect. Yeah, big explosion. Got it to stop quickly, and that will be a birdie opportunity coming up. Ryan Chance learned that shot from his bird. legendary caddy and swing coach, Jerry. Jerry worked hard with Ryan to teach him that pick shot. Beautiful putt. Yes, the speed 
spot on. It's a late birdie here at 17. Yes. He'll get that score Come on. Minus 29. Best round of Ryan's career in the finale? Yeah, I think so. Nobody saw this coming. You know, if Ke if only Keegan Bradley was up there with us, imagine how exciting that round would have been. Like, if Xander was right there with us, this round would have been electric. <laughs> I mean, really. It would have been amazing. But too bad he wasn't, right? Beautiful. He just keeps motoring right along. I mean, we're Another dominating. Good shot right there. Well, if you all were worried that Ryan Gamer stepping into the world of back into the world of NBA basketball, if you're wondering if it would affect his golf game in a negative way, well, no. Just like when he stepped into the world of coaching and college football, his he got better in all the other sports. He's fired up. Hey, college, I, I can't say enough good about College Football 25, everybody. If you're a college football fan, play that game. It is fantastic. It is a college fan's dream. I'm telling you right now, that gameplay is on another level. I can't say enough good about that video game. It's a dream come true for me. The and there's... Up above and this will play at least a club longer. And yeah, it's missing some quality of life features that they used to have in the game. But like the shell that the, the game is still amazing without those. And I think they will bring those quality of life stuff into the game. If not this year, next year. But the game itself, gameplay is on another level. Best football game ever. Beautiful. And final iron shot of the day, and it is one of the best we've seen here at the closing hole. You know, Ryan could just relax a little bit, you know, it doesn't matter, but instead, he sends it right next to the hole. Xander, good punt. Uh, that should just about wrap this one up. It's a birdie at 18, and I think, go ahead and celebrate, because that lead now is I close mean. to insurmountable. The announcers still see that's some of the things you know I was expecting more updates to this game to add like one two three round options to career mode and you know updates to the commentary and stuff but they they never they they didn't and I don't think they will I don't think they're going to continue to update it because there's still bugs in the in the sudden death career mode like you you basically just can't or I can't go into sudden death whenever I have a sudden death in this career mode it always glitches and freezes on Xbox so I you know, I don't know if they will do any more bug fixes or anything like that or any additional features. I, I don't think they will, unfortunately. That is a birdie, though. Let's go. Uh, that's a good putt there. It's a birdie at 18. So just a terrific tournament for our featured player, Frank, and it yields a fourth career victory. That's impressive. And we're starting to look at them through a totally different lens now, Rich. We know they're good enough. Um, I remember Nick Price once saying he used to use the average of five career wins for every major championship. So they're knocking on the door. The commentators knew I was talking about them. So did you They said that's Ryan's fourth win? Yeah, let's go with that. It's Ryan's fourth win, everybody. Oh my, that was an incredible round of golf. Like, are you kidding me? We dominated. Xander shot a 10 under. We shot a 12 under. That is a 6 under on the front and a 6 under out on the back. That is one of the best true film rounds I've ever had in this game. I i don't think I've ever read putts that well. Those were not easy putts we were hitting, everybody. Like, th those were not easy. And I was just sitting up there hitting them with confidence confidence i mean oh my firm handshakes with xander shoffley he came out with an eagle and dominated he slowed down on the back nine but finished with three birdies in the last four holes but we finished with a birdie train started the round with the birdie train and ended with the birdie train 
That was amazing. 31 under, 12 under. Keegan Bradley shot a 10. Xander Shoffley shot a 10 under. But Ryan Gamer does even better. It's a, it's, we have to say, studying the history, history at Riviera Country Club of the Greens, for some reason, really helped Ryan understand how the Greens were moving today. <laughs> you know, Jerry may be unorthodox sometimes, but it works. Maverick McNilly. He needed a big time round and he struggled. 18 under on the day. I mean, 18 under for the tournament, one under in the final round. But what about Xander moving into the top five? Amazing. What an amazing round from Xander Schauffele. But we did it, everybody. Thank you for the one times. That's a 59 in the final round at Riviera. Never before seen. That was an exceptional round of golf. I was just firing on all cylinders, particularly on those greens. And when you read greens like that, you're going to dominate, right? Like when the putter's hot, well, our proximity hole is usually okay, but when you can putt like that from anywhere, you're not going to lose. And that's what we showed today. So next up, we will be skipping the Florida Classic at the Wetlands. Uh, we want to move to the next in real life tournament. So the next one. So we got to think about this for a second. Do we want to play at Bay Hill or do we want to move straight to the players? You know, uh, do we play at Bay Hill? Oh, we've had four victories on the on the season. We may go to Ride Gamer's home tournament, the Players' Championship, because then we'll be skipping Bend and Dunes, and then we'll probably be diving straight into the Masters. Honestly. You all, hey, let me know in a comment. What do you all want to see next? Do you want to see Bay Hill? Do you want to go straight to TPC Sawgrass, Ryan, where Ride Gamer was born and raised? TPC Sawgrass, we're back for revenge. Ryan played so bad in this tournament a year ago. It was really bad. We fell apart. We fell apart. It was not a good round. We really struggled. And we need to bounce back. I'm leaning towards a player's championship for the next tournament. Uh, and now, if we do the Honored Palmer, that's going to be four rounds. That's, that's going to take a lot longer to get to the player's championship and also to get to the Masters, right? So, I think we do the player's championship next. I mean, we can do Bay Hill. We could do the honored pa Arnold Palmer Invitational at Bay Hill, and then we could do we could do honored honored Palmer right Invitational, and then we go to the players, and then we skip straight to the Masters. That might not be a bad way to do it, actually. Yeah, that. What do you all think? Four victories on the season. Obviously, we're not going to play every tournament. I want to play mostly the in real life tournaments. And, of course, we're going to play all the majors. But, yeah, I, I don't want to do every tournament this season. I don't think we need to. We did the first season. We don't need to do every one. I just want to do the real ones. Uh, so, we may, do, we may do Bay Hill next. And then the players. I think we do. I think we do play Bay Hill. I think we got to. I, I don't know. You all can let me know what you think. I, I We're 100% doing the players. And... Yeah, so Bay Hill, that's going to be four videos and then four videos until we get to the Players' Championship. I know that's going to be quite some time. I typically post these videos on Tuesdays. Uh, so, I don't know. Part of me wants to go straight into the Players' Championship. But I do want to see your all's thoughts in a comment. Do you want to see Bay Hill next? Or do you want to see the players right at Ryan Gamer's home tournament? I don't know. It's, it's up to you all. I want to see what you want to see. You know, I, I will ultimately, ultimately decide to make the final decision. I don't really know. I may randomize it, flip a coin or something. <laughs> I don't know. But all I do know is thank you all. Thank you all for all the support, continued support, not only on this series, across all the golf content and all the career mode content outside the golf on the channel. I mean... We have so much fun content right now here on the Gamer Booty YouTube channel. If you're not watching the other sports series, I highly recommend it. Check them out by clicking on the different playlists in the video description or just check the channel page, scroll through. You know, I've been at a pace of posting about two videos a day. You'll usually see a different sport each day or at least a couple of sports each day, uh, depending on the day. Uh, now, will I be able to keep up that pace? <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll see. You know, it's just been a busy launch period. This is sports game season, right? And here for a channel like me who loves sports and plays a lot of sports games, it's a busy time of the year. 
uh, for me. So yeah, I, I will be doing a series. Of course, NBA is going to take the forefront here along with college football right now. But don't you worry, the golf is not going anywhere. You know, I post these EA PGA Tour careers on Tuesdays. We do PGA 2K career on Thursdays, a PGA 2K showcase usually on Wednesday mornings. We do an impossible round for PGA 2K on Fridays. Uh, and so plenty of other golf content here on the Gamer Ability YouTube channel. Subscribe for plenty more content. Be sure to drop a like if you got some enjoyment. It really helps the channel. And check out some of the other series. I'm having a blast right now with NBA. It's been awesome. It's going to be a great season and great series. And the College Football 25, I can't speak highly enough on that Dynasty series and Road to Glory. You know, it, they, they're fantastic. And plenty of great content here on the Gamer Ability YouTube channel. I will see you next time. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.